This video was made possible by Wix. If you're ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics2019 to try out one of their premium plans right now. One day you're at the zoo enjoying your time at the primate exhibit. Suddenly you watch a small kid run up to the glass and taunt the giant gorilla, only for his father to come rushing after him and shoo him away from the glass, warning him not to taunt the animals. You scoff. Gorillas are dumb and besides, that glass is pretty thick. Thinking you'll have yourself a good laugh, you take a banana and press yourself against the glass, mocking the big dumb ape as you chow down on a delicious banana. With a terrible roar, the enraged gorilla raises his fists high and smashes down on the glass, shattering it into a billion pieces. He looks at you with twin desires in his eyes, bananas, and your blood. What happens when you, the average Joe, is up against a fully grown silverback gorilla? So you thought it'd be funny to taunt a fully grown 400 pound gorilla, and now he's out for your blood. How are you going to defeat this force of natural fury? As always, we'll first get to know your enemy before we plot how to defeat it. The first documented encounter with gorillas is believed to have been in 500 BC, when a Carthaginian explorer ran into what he believed was a tribe that he described as a people the greater part of whom were women whose bodies were hairy and whom our interpreters called gorillae. Yet, because of their very low population numbers and tiny geographic distribution, gorillas largely remained the stuff of folklore until the mid-1800s, when an American missionary brought back a specimen from Liberia. Stories of the hairy mountain giants had long been told, and gorillas were often thought of as the Bigfoot of their time. Except in this case, bodies were eventually discovered and science proved them to be real animals. Not too distant human relatives, gorillas move around by knuckle walking. Though like many great apes, they can also walk on two feet for short distances. They also often raise themselves up on two feet in aggressive defensive displays, the added stature meant to intimidate an opponent. Males can weigh between 300 and 430 pounds, with females weighing about half as much. The males can also stand up to a height of 5 feet 11 inches, with an arm span of up to 8 and a half feet. They live in groups as most great apes do, and have a very strict social hierarchy, all led by one dominant male known as the silverback. The silverback is the big cheese of the gorilla troop, and his dominance is unquestionable. The largest, meanest gorilla in the group, he typically does not tolerate other males. Though some troops do have males who remain attached to the group and are subordinate to the silverback. Usually though, males leave their troops when they reach maturity and try to start new troops with other wandering females. The silverback makes all of the group's decisions, and as such the survival of the troop is firmly in his hands. He decides where to eat and when to eat, and if trouble arises, he is responsible for keeping the troops safe sometimes with the help of subordinate males known as blackbacks. Despite their incredible strength and ferocity, gorillas are actually quite docile and gentle beings, with big silverbacks often preferring to conduct what are known as mock charges rather than openly fight. These charges can be so terrifying to observers though that gorillas have gained a completely undeserved reputation for being savage and bloodthirsty, when truthfully, attacks against humans or even fighting inside the troop is extremely rare. Given their size and incredible strength though, it's understandable that people would fear the mighty gorilla. As far as strengths, well, the gorilla has almost unbelievable physical strength. Adult males are strong enough to rip banana trees out of the ground. Something you may want to think about next time you're weeding a garden and struggling to rip out some puny weeds. If it really wanted to, a gorilla could literally rip you limb from limb, and the fact that they don't do this to humans who encroach on their habitat goes a long way to show how gentle these giants actually are. Gorillas are also among the most intelligent animals in the world, and many of you have probably heard of Coco, the gorilla who was taught to use sign language. They can use basic tools such as using sticks to gauge the depth of water before crossing it. And some gorillas have even been observed using fallen branches as improvised clubs. Gorillas are also extremely social and emotional creatures, and they're known to laugh and grieve. Different groups of gorillas have been observed using their own specific different methods of food preparation, and some researchers even believe that gorillas have spiritual feelings and religious sentiments. So you're up against a full-grown silverback gorilla who's smart enough to use basic tools but doesn't really need any because it can simply rip your arm off and beat you to death with it. How are you possibly going to defeat this foe? First off, we are once more putting you up against an adversary with no special powers, no demonic influence, and no psychic or psionic talents to call upon. Gorillas are just flesh and blood, and they can barely use simple tools, so we think it's only fair to ban you from using high-powered rifles and other tools, which would make this a ridiculously easy fight. 
Instead, we're going to go mano a mano against a full-grown silverback gorilla. Well, sort of. You'll see. The first thing you're going to want to do is the very thing which is likely your first instinct to do – run. In the wild, this is extremely inadvisable. If you've seen our episode on what to do if an animal attacks, you'll know that many animals such as elephants and lions conduct mock charges in order to intimidate trespassers. These mock charges are typically highly aggressive and look like the real deal, but statistically speaking, they're far more often than not exactly that, a mock charge. Gorillas are no different, and like many animals, if you flee from the mock charge, it can trigger an instinct to chase by showing you are weaker and afraid. This can often end up disastrously for you, but in this case, you already know that Coco is coming to rip your head off with her bare hands, so you might as well risk it and run as fast as you can. But you need to pick your route well, because on flat ground a gorilla can run roughly as fast as a human for short distances. However, gorillas are naturally very cautious creatures, so if you flee using a route with many obstacles, the gorilla will be leery of following at a full sprint, allowing you the time to get some breathing room to think of a plan to defeat this not-so-gentle giant. The main problem with fighting a gorilla without weapons is that no matter how much time you've spent in the gym, you still have those wimpy little human arms to fight with and the gorilla could pop those off of you and beat you to death with them without so much as a second thought. Even chimpanzees, which are a fraction the size of gorillas, are far stronger than humans and capable of inflicting some horrible injuries. Because reproduction is so important in the wild, gorillas and chimpanzees both like to mangle the sexual organs of rival males. So if you're a guy and think you might find yourself in this situation, we recommend you wear a cup. But that's not all you're going to need to wear. The US military has for years taken inspiration from Japanese anime and tried to develop a functional power armor system. Working prototypes have been built and even field tested, but the bulky power armors all required an umbilical plug into a huge power source, not something that would be very realistic or practical to do in a combat environment. Just this year though, American robot developer Sarcos Robotics brought the world that much closer to a badass power armored future by signing a contract with the United States Special Operations Command to deliver a pre-production full-body robotic exoskeleton. The unit, known as Guardian XO, allows a soldier to lift loads up to 200 pounds with ease, and repeatedly for over 8 hours. Yet despite the incredible power it delivers, the unit is so dexterous that it allows its operators to also do delicate and nimble tasks, such as tying your shoelaces without ripping off your own feet. Best of all, while the power armor of the past drew as much as 6,000 watts, the Guardian draws only 400 watts with a battery life of 8 hours. While details on the exact modifications that will be made to the power armor built for the US's most elite special forces are classified, we can guess that the suits are going to make fighting off guerrilla attacks with your bare fists a total cakewalk, as well as punching terrorists through seven brick walls. What we're trying to say is, the future just got a lot more badass. Having bought yourself time enough to slip into your classified suit of guardian armor, you're going to go hand to robot hand with the hairy beast. The gorilla might have evolution and mountains of natural strength on its side, but you have decades of anime-inspired human technological genius on yours, plus a few martial arts moves. An uppercut to the jaw backed up by hundreds of pounds of mechanical strength will shatter the gorilla's massive canines, cutting out the risk of being ripped apart by its terrible teeth. Its furious fists will be easily blocked by your titanium alloy enhanced power arms, and a kick to the groin packing several hundred pounds of mechanical force will end this fight in seconds. With power armor straight out of a Fallout game on your side, you're going to easily come out on top of this deathmatch. And with gorillas rapidly going extinct by human encroachment on their habitat, you're really just sparing the big silverback a sad future of wasting away in captivity, knowing that its entire species is at an end, and he's likely to be the last of his kind. Murder is basically a mercy in this case, so pat yourself on the back because you're the winner both in this deathmatch and in real life. And then get yourself to a hospital because you probably forgot you were wearing power armor and just shattered your spine. Ok, so you needed a little, let's say outside help to deal with this gorilla on your back, but sometimes you need the power of technology, like when you're building a website. Wix is your personal website power armor, with their powerful design tools that let you build a site in seconds using fully customizable templates, or build a site from the ground up that's all yours. Their extensive knowledge base is always available to help you tackle any problem. Well, maybe not how to deal with an enraged gorilla, but almost any other problem because their subscription services offer 24-7 tech support. Try out Wix today by visiting the link in the description or going to wix.com go infographics 2019.
How would you defeat a full-grown silverback gorilla? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this fight, check out another epic matchup in our You vs series, or suggest some epic matchups of your own in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.